you've been through Why you got scars Since you walked through the door I've been trying Center of theme of our kitchen farmhouse decor. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to use everything is from Dollar Tree except for our Waverly chalk paint. Of course, we're going to use ink that's black and the printout that we're going to the um, vinyl decal that we're going to use. I printed out on my Cricut. And it says, I know you probably can't read it, but it says, this kitchen is seasoned with love. I thought that was so cute. And, of course, your brush. And you're going to need your clear, transparent um, contact paper. Now, this is what I use when I'm transferring my, my de um, vinyl decals. It works. I like it better than using the Cricut transfer because if you're using paint, sometimes when you use the Cricut transfer tape, it will bring um, tear off, bring off some of your paint on your project. So I've realized that this right here, you can get it from the Dollar Tree. I, I always get me two or three rolls at a time because I'm, this time of the year, especially going into Christmas, a lot of my DIYs and stuff that I sell at craft fairs, I use decals on them. So get you some of this, it's only a dollar. So what we're gonna do, oh, let me finish telling you what else you need. This here is the silver plastic server set. Your fork and your spoon. This came straight out of the party section in Dollar Tree. And your charger. I've gotten this gray one. I have been looking for it forever. So we're gonna use that. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our spoon and fork here. And we're going to paint them with the black chalk paint. Now, of course, as usual, you know, I'm not going to make you stand here, sit here and watch me paint this, but I just want to show you what it's going to look like when you start. So we're just going to take this just like this, and we're going to paint it black. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to need one or two co um, coats, probably two. So we're just gonna paint it and we're gonna let it dry and we'll be back. Okay guys, so my our spoon and fork is still drying over there. Um I couldn't find my blow dryer. I don't know what my son did with it. So I could have speeded up the process. So in the meantime, while that is still drying, I'm just going to go ahead and we're just gonna get ready to put our decal on our plate. So we're just gonna take it off. We've shown you this before. And then we're gonna put it onto our contact paper. So I'm gonna get this part done. It look like it may take a minute. And then when I come back, we're going to adhere it onto here together. messed up but it's okay I'm still gonna make it work so what we're gonna do as I told you before you just make sure you take this stuff and I need to get a card so I can make sure it all comes up I'll be back one second Tell you, this one here really gave me some trouble. Normally, I don't have this much trouble when I am um, working with it. So, let's make sure we can get this stuff stick down like it's supposed to. You see what I'm saying? I am just having all kind of issues. And normally, I don't. So, let's just work this off really, really easy. We've had enough trouble with our E down here at the bottom. But you see normally how simple it is. Let 
What is up with these E's? They just don't want to come off. goes that E down there, you guys. I don't think it want to stay down because it didn't want to stick before. So I may have to mod podge it a little bit for it to stick. All right, so that's how it looks so far. Can you read it? This kitchen is seasoned with love. I just love it. So now let's take our spoon and our fork and we're going to use our hot glue gun um, and probably some E6000. So we can make sure it stays. Um, I didn't use any ribbon or anything because I just wanted to keep it really, really simple. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna squeeze some E6000 there and some on the edges like right here. Then we're gonna take our hot glue gun Put some hot glue and we're going to adhere it down. So it's running to the side. Let me get this up before it sticks. Oh, it's already sticking. E6000 is already sticking. I may not need to use the E6000. Let me just try the hot glue. Maybe that'll work. Uh, let me get another hot glue stick. Fork isn't down, but it's it's there. I keep moving now, but I didn't bring my fork down as far as my spoon. But it's okay. Guys, so here's the final product. I think it turned out pretty good. As you can see, I have my fork that's a little bit higher than my spoon, but I think it's just really cute. Um, I didn't add any ribbons or anything. I wanted to do a bow. But I said I would just keep it simple. Um, and if you want to hang it up, you can always add some nautical rope to the back to hang it up. Or you can always just sit it on an easel. So thanks you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this DIY. And until my next one. Oh, also, if you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button so you always know when I upload a new video. And until the next one, guys, have a good one.